In this chapter, we will introduce the operational procedure and common problems of the air blowing optical cable. This is the cable blowing operation site. Enclose the air compressor cable reel drive and fiber optic cable exit with warning tape to warn non operators not to enter the operational area. Machines include air compressor with a high pressure pneumatic power source, pneumatic driver for pushing the optical cable forward, the introduction of the pneumatic driver. It consists of two barometers. One is the intake gauge, the other is the drive gauge. Other accessories include drive tube overflow pipe, pipe connector, ceiling ring, warhead, lubricant, sponge, cable rack, main high pressure gas pipe, Connecting the driver to the inlet duct using a pipe. First, the tube is flattened by a circular cutter and then connected with a connector. Insert the sponge into the pipe before the cable enters the pipe and squeeze the right amount of lubricant into the tube. Connection between the transition tube and the driver First fit the matching sealing ring into the transition tube. The excess pipe is then placed in the driver's air intake compartment. Then align the sealing ring with the sealing ring of the air intake compartment and press the fastening device. Pull the optical cable out of the cable rack. The starting point of the optical cable must be fastened to the bullet head. Put the fiber optic cable with the bullet head in the transition tube of the drive machine. Close and press tightly the air intake compartment. Press down the pulley to properly clamp the optical cable between the two pulleys to the optical cable forward. Connecting the air compressor to the drive securely using the main high pressure air pipe. Then connect the drive device with the branching high pressure pipe in order to drive the pulley Start the air compressor preheating. And next, load the gas supply.
Turn on the switch of the air compressor to the gas supply. Turn on the intake switch of the driver and send air to the intake pipe to clean the tube wall. You can see the sponge being blown out of the tube first. Press the switch of the belt pulley and open the intake switch of the belt pulley drive. The drive starts pushing the optical cable forward. The swinging arm of the cable tray rotates as the optical cable moves forward. Observe the monitor on the drive during cable laying, indicating the forward speed and cable length of the optical cable. At the same time, operators should keep in touch with each other by using the walkie-talkie. When the optical cable reaches a certain length at the cable exit, Tell the other operator to stop routing the cable. Complete the air blowing optical cable process. Common problems in cable blowing. 1. No sponge is used to clean the inner wall of the pipe and operator forgets to apply lubricant before the optical cable enters the pipe. 2. The sealing ring installed on the optical cable does not match the outer diameter of the optical cable. Too tight, too much resistance. 3. The sealing ring installed on the optical cable does not match the outer diameter of the optical cable. The inner diameter of the sealing ring is too large. The intake manifold of the driver is not properly sealed. As a result, the pressure in the tube will be small and this may cause the optical cable to move slowly. Four, improper installation of the seal rings of the driver's air inlet chamber, resulting in gas leakage. Five, the air leakage is caused by the loose connection between the transition pipe and the cable inlet pipe. Six, during the backfilling of the pipe trench, large hard objects are pushed against the tube, causing it to deform, increasing the forward resistance of the optical cable, even preventing the optical cable from passing through. 7. Incoming pipe uses recycled plastic, causing the pipe to rupture when injecting the high pressure gas, resulting in low air pressure. The speed of the optical cable slows down, the optical cable stops moving, or even is pushed out of the crack.